What comes alive through the archives is the life of Melbourne. It's just fascinating looking back, you know, just reading those letters. Because some letters, it's not just having the letters from that past, it's people that are looking back themselves. People, you might find a letter in 1910, they're looking back to 1860s and you can feel, you know, the poverty and the people trying to get jobs in the war, the hardship, the club trying to struggle to keep going. All these stories are in the archives. I came across this letter, it's about seven pages, and it was written in 1877. It was the letter trying to get the English to come out and play. It actually turned out to be the first test match. But it, but it was written by one of our uh, secretaries who obviously had a great way with words. And he talks about um, the Melbourne Cricket Club is desirous of inviting a team of gentlemen, cricketers from England, to play a series of matches. As it goes on, he talks about WG Grace and he talks about professionals and the professionals were travelling second class and I couldn't understand this when I first started my job and then I realised that professionals weren't gentlemen cricketers, they were paid. So they were second rate, not like today. <laughs>